founder of OutKick and co-host of the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show. Clay, when I saw this headline, I thought it was The Onion. It is amazing. And just follow me here, Jesse. Wouldn't it be more racist to put minorities in cages and let sharks try to bite them? I, 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 are, there, are there tons of minorities like, you know what, there's too many white guys getting attacked by sharks in Shark Week. We got to have more equality, more yeah. equity. I want in the cage to get attacked. That seems like it would actually be racist. And also, how about the fact that the Washington Post is covering this, Jesse, but they basically didn't cover the entire Twitter document drop that proved that collusion <laughs> and big tech and censorship. They can't get around to that. But a study comes out about racism in Shark Week, and they're like, we got to put every reporter on this. we got to make sure that we don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to bring this story to the masses. I also appreciate that when your crew saw this story, they said, oh, we got to make sure Clay's in to talk about the racist <laughs> Shark Week. Because I love Shark Week too, Jesse. I'm terrified. I totally expect that I'm going to be killed by a shark one day. Uh, but in the meantime, of all the ways to go, I mean, that's kind of a badass way to go, right? Would you swim towards the shark as the expert suggested? I saw that advice. <laughs> I saw that advice. That seems like awful advice. I liked your <laughs> idea about breaking the oar and trying yeah. to, like, keep him from... I think the shark's probably strong enough to break the oar. Uh, but I think you have to go with the eye gouge. The or eye gouge. go gill grab and just try to <laughs> rake, right, with the gill grab. But I, I don't have a great strategy, but I have thought about it. In the same way that I think about it when I'm down in Florida, if alligators attack, like as a dad, and I know you're in the process of, yes. of fatherhood, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, you sit around once you become a dad thinking of ways that you can save your children in the event of a wild animal attack all the time. I mean, it's like a constant obsession. Uh, and so well, I thought I about this get way attacked too by much, sharks with honest. you, Clay, because you seem to have put a lot of thought into it. You get the gills. I, I'll get I, the I'm eye ready. gouging. The guy that was assigned to this is Daniel Wool. Can we see what Daniel Wu looks like? This is, there's Daniel Wu. So he says too many white guys are talking sharks. All right? So if you're concerned, Daniel, maybe change the channel. Or if you, as a, it looks like he's an Asian guy, I don't know what he is, maybe he could talk about sharks on Discovery. How about he goes into the shark tank, into the shark, uh, you know, cave or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and like right here. Is this something that, that everybody of all races is... I don't want to be in there, Jesse. I'll right. be honest with you. We'll but if there's tons of minorities who feel like racism is keeping them out of the cage, put them in the cage, let them go in, too. All right. Clay Travis, protect yourself from sharks, bears. He's your man. Thank you, Clay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.